We are often seduced by an idea that seems wonderfully good. Everyone seems to win and no one gets hurt. Even God must be happy with such an outcome. But the thing is, once we strip away all the justifications we use, it is a case of putting our desires ahead of God's plans. Jesus is taken to the top of the temple, the very center of Judaism, and told that if he were to throw himself off the roof, the angels would rescue him. What would have happened had Jesus given in to this temptation? The crowds in the temple would have seen this heavenly sign and recognized Jesus as the Messiah. That rather messy and necessary crucifixion would have plainly been impossible. I mean, who could possibly crucify the Messiah upheld by all the angels of God? This wonderful proof of God's power and majesty would have denied all of us the new life we have through the resurrected Jesus. Perhaps we have also had ideas that seem to be good, but in the end, we're all about our own desires. Jesus deals with this temptation by essentially saying that he has faith in God's plan for him. Now that is a hard thing to do, especially when life is hard and messy. Faith in God, rather than being led by our own desires, is another way for us to move from selfishness to God-centeredness. When have you had ideas that turned out to be about what you really desired, rather than what was good for you and others, what God really wanted from you?